Russia has turned Ukraine into a giant minefield. It is estimated that around 30% of Ukraine has been contaminated with landmines. What's even worse? Removing them is proving to be difficult, but it seems technology could prove to be of some help. It is small. Ukraine's military and civilians are facing a deadly problem. Landmines, potentially hundreds of thousands of them, are scattered across roads, buried in fields and concealed in devastated cities. Today, Ukraine is said to be the most heavily mined country in the world. Interestingly, Kyiv has come up with various ways to deal with this persistent and deadly threat. Look at this. It may look like a regular drone, but it is not. What you see on your screen is a metal detecting drone that is flying over East Ukrainian farm fields. What does this drone do? It looks for mines. Yevhen Polyachenko, who is a geophysicist at Ukraine's Academy of Sciences and a demining volunteer, says that their metal detector could detect iron-containing objects even up to half a meter underground. The drone can even detect mines faster than sappers with the usual detecting equipment. The metal detector the drone carries will see any iron-containing object. A certain advantage, for example, of using magnetometers, such as in the one they use over the coils of metal detectors, is that it can detect anomalies at depth. In fact, a humanitarian demining fund has used the technology to demine farm fields in Ukraine's eastern Kharkiv region, as farmers all over the country have started sowing winter wheat. The idea behind the new system is to develop a fast and reliable demining algorithm with drones and sappers. Well, that's just one way of detecting landmines. Ukrainian volunteers along with the army have also come up with a homemade demining machine. They have converted a run-of-the-mill excavator into a demining powerhouse. This machine is so efficient that it can blow up any and all types of mines. Wondering how it works? The excavator is fitted with chains around the rotating axis. While rotating, the chains hit the mines and the impact could be like you are hitting it with something that weighs a thousand kilograms. Any mine, whether anti-tank or anti-personnel, will detonate. Also, the machinery can be equipped with knives and blades that can plow the soil. After each and every detonation, the operator should drive backwards and check the chains or knives that are mounted onto the shield. If they are damaged, they must be replaced. Greatly inspired by the World War II Sherman tanks, this demining vehicle is still under inspection. While a remote driver can control the machine with a joystick, developers want to ensure the driver's cabin can stay safe if an explosion goes off under the excavator's threads. Ukraine is now working to secure access to more mine clearance equipment.